Hamid eleven years old and I'm a Sikh. Hello, I'm Tanushri, her classmate, and I'm an Indian. Assalamualaikum, I'm Diana, their best friend, and I'm a Malay girl. We are best friends. Malaysia is an incredibly diverse country containing many different ethnicities, languages, and religions. All of us are different, but together we are one. We always respect each other. Malay is the majority. However, there are many divergences from this culture mainstream throughout the country. Okay, now we are going to tell you about our daily activities. We wake up early in the morning. I, as a Muslim, will perform subuh prayer before I start my day. How about you, Tanishree? Yes, me and Riavin will do our prayer every morning to say thanks to God for everything. And my mother will put this vibhuti after prayer to get blessings from God. Yes, at last we can go to school after two years staying at home due to movement control order. COVID-19 hit us in sudden. Malaysia is unique. In Malaysia, there are various kinds of food such as Malay food, Indian food, Punjabi food, and Chinese food. But we are going to talk about our traditional foods. The main characteristic of traditional Malay cuisine is the generous use of spices. Coconut milk is also important in giving Malaysia the rich creamy character. The other foundation is blachan, prawn paste, which is usually used as a base for sambal. A rich sauce or condiment made from blachan, chili peppers, onions, and garlic. Every Malay meal is served with rice, which is also a staple food in many other countries. Example of Malay foods are pulut kuning, the yellow glutinous rice, beef rendang, nasi lemak, nasi biryani, nasi minyak, kurma daging, and ayam masak merah. Diana, do you know that coconut milk is not good for our health? Oh dear, no it's not. Coconut milk gives benefits to our health. Coconut milk contains antioxidants which prevent heart diseases. Other than that, it strengthens our immune system. Oh, now I know. Thank you, Diana. You're welcome. Luckily for us, Malaysia has an abundance of Indian restaurants serving up authentic North and South Indian food. My favorite food always has to be Indian food. Indian cuisines very substantially and use locally available spices, herbs, vegetables, and fruits. Some examples of tasty and popular Indian foods are Alo gobe, the crispy golden potato and cauliflower, butter chicken, chana masala, palak paneer, the spinach curry in a creamy masala sauce, chicken and fish curry, dal, and many more. Uh, it makes me hungry. Okay, okay, enough. I also want to share about our Punjabi traditional foods. Distinctively, Punjabi cuisine is known for its rich bodily flavors along with the extensive vegetarian and meat dishes. For example, the tandoori khalti spicy yellow gravy with cakes made of cat pea flour containing lemon juice, red peppers and turmeric, the flatbread, puri hawa, sweet snow pudding and so on. It also includes a vast variety of sweet dishes or mitai such as kheer, malpua, kulfi, moti chuladu and many more. Riyabin, did you know that sweet foods can harm our body? Oh yes, but we can control by taking a small amount of it. Chinese food staples such as rice, soy sauce, noodles, tea, chili oil and tofu. The preferences for seasoning and cooking techniques of Chinese provinces depend on differences in historical background and ethnic groups. Color, scent, and taste are the three traditional aspects used to describe Chinese food, as well as the meaning, appearance, and nutrition of the food. Ugh, I'm so hungry! Tanushri, do you know any restaurants near here that can serve both Indian and Malay food? Because I want to eat nasi lama and roti canai at the same time. Sorry, Diana, I have no idea. Hmm. 
I know there's a mama restaurant you here. The foods are delicious and variety. Let's go! Let's go! Wow, Malaysia is a wonderful country. I'm satisfied and my stomach is very happy. Okay now, I hope you enjoy and get many information from us. See you next time. Lots of love from us, Diana, Tanishree and Yavin. Bye, till we meet again.